Good morning. I mean, good afternoon, friends, and welcome back to our math class. I hope everybody had a good nutritious lunch because we learned today how important that is for your growing bodies to get some uh, nutrients, some carbohydrates, some fruits and vegetables. So today we're going to be talking about measurement and we're going to be measuring. The name of our book is called If the Shoe Fits. So we're going to be measuring our shoes and our feet. So let's get this party started with our presentation. It's time for math. Welcome back, friends. I'm so glad to have you here with me today. Are you ready? It's time to get up and dance. Visit number octet. I don't know why it's doing this. Sorry, friends. Oh, for ad free videos, lesson materials, and more. This song is a good beat to get your groove on. Chico's rope is two feet long, Mario's rope is four feet long, Mario said to Tico, I have got the longer rope, cause yours is two and mine is four, so my rope has two feet more, we go, hey yo, who has got the longer rope, we go, hey yo, Mario's got the longer rope. Talking about measurement. Mario's boat is nine feet long. Chico's boat is five feet long. Chico said to Mario, I have got a shorter boat. It's five feet and, and yours, yours is nine. nine. Which is four feet longer than mine. We go, hey, yo. Mario's got the shorter boat. We go, hey, yo. Tico's got the shorter boat. Tico's telescope is three feet long. Mario's telescope is five feet long. Mario said to Tico, I have a longer telescope. Mine's five feet and yours is three. Mine is longer by two feet. We go, hey, yo. Who has a longer telescope? We go, hey, yo. Mario's got a longer telescope. We go, hey, yo. Who's got the longer guitar? Uh oh. Then Chico asked Mario to find their two of fires on the number line. Mario had an 11 inch papaya. Chico's was not, that was the data. They started at 11 and added 9. Oh, now they're adding. For supper time. 20 inches of papaya together. Hey, yo. Visit numberrock.com for ad. Good job, friends. All right, we're going to exit out of that and go back to our presentation. And here is our story if the shoe fits. Mouse math, and we're going to get our book at getepic.com. If the Shoe Fits by Jennifer Duslin, illustrated by <clears throat> Deborah Melman. Albert has found a wonderful old shoe, and it's the perfect clubhouse for him to play in. 
If only he could fit it inside the playroom. Albert grabbed his sister's arm. Wanda, what's that? Albert and Wanda were coming back from picking berries in the people's yard. Something strange was in the grass ahead of them. They crept closer. It was big, it was red, it was a people shoe. Albert jumped up and down. The shoe was the best thing ever. What was it doing outside? It was right where Gruncho the cat could find it. Gruncho had beat Albert to some great stuff before. A huge striped feather, a pink rubber ball, a dropped hot dog bun, but not this time. Wanda, we have to take the shoe home, Albert said. We can't, we can put it in our playroom. It, it'll be our clubhouse. Wanda looked at the shoe. It would be the perfect clubhouse, she said, but it's big and heavy and the playroom is far away. I don't want to get there and find out if it doesn't fit. So Albert said, we can measure it first. We don't have a ruler, Wanda pointed out. I have an idea, Albert said. I'll use my feet to measure it. Albert walked next to the shoe and he put one foot in front of the other and he counted one, two, three, until he reached the end. It's 12 mouse feet long, he said. Wanda nodded. I'll double check. She measured with her feet. It's 10 mouse feet long. Albert looked at his mouse foot and he looked at Wanda's foot. Hey, your feet are bigger than mine. That's why we got different numbers. Let's measure with something else, Wanda said. I know, Albert said. He reached into his backpack. Cheese. He helped, held up a cheese stick. Albert measured the shoe. It was exactly eight cheese sticks long. Albert and Wanda crossed the yard. They scurried along next to the fence, around the flower post, and over a log pile. Finally, they reached home. Now we have to measure the playroom, Wanda said. Albert took out the cheese stick from his bag. Wanda looked at it. It seems shorter, Albert, Albert, she asked. Did you eat the cheese stick, part of the cheese stick? I got hungry, he said. Oh, goodness. What else can we measure with, Wanda asked. It has to be one size, not like mouse feet, and it has to stay the size, not like the cheese stick. Albert thought for a moment, paper clips. Albert had a paperclip collection. The purple ones were his favorite, and they were the same exact, exact same size. He ran and got them. Albert measured the playroom was seven paper clips long. Albert and Wanda peeked outside. No gruncho. They hurried over the log pile, around the flower pots, and along the fence. The shoe was right where they had left it. Phew, I was afraid gruncho would find it, Albert said. Wanda measured the shoe. It was five paper clips long. It would fit in the playroom. The two paper clip with two paper clips to spare. Albert picked up the heel. Wanda picked up the toe. They carried the shoe along the fence. They carried it along the flower flats. They carried it in, it to the log pile. Albert and Wanda stopped to catch their breath, and the shoe was heavy. Then they climbed to the top of the log pile, and Albert looked down and saw Gruncho. Gruncho looked up and saw Albert and Wanda. Albert shrieked. Wanda shrieks. They dropped the shoe and the shoe tumbled off the log pile and hit Gruncho on the nose. Gruncho yowled. He ran away as fast as his, as his cat feet could run. Albert shook his paw at Gruncho. Take that cat, he cried. Albert and Wanda raced down to the side of the wood pile and grabbed the shoe. They ran as fast as their mouse feet could run. They crammed the shoe through the back door. They crammed it through the playroom door and they put it between the bookshelf and the ball hoop. It fit perfectly. Wanda and Albert's mouse clubhouse was mouse-tastic. Albert popped his head out of the toe hole. Why did I have such a hard time saying that? Albert popped his head out of the toe hole. Wanda climbed the shoelace and Albert crawled, crawled through the middle. You guys can't see that. Crawled through the middle. Wanda sat on the tongue and read a book. It just needs one thing, Wanda said. Uh, 
on the outside of the shoe, she painted no cats allowed. Isn't that silly? So we have some fun activities here. It says the shoe fit supports children's understanding of non-standard unit measurement, an important topic in early math learning. Using the activities below to extend the math topic and support children early learning. So it says engage. Remind the children that the cover of the book often can tell them about the story inside. Ask the children, what do you think the story is about? Record their predictions. So now we're going to look back. After reading the story to the children, ask, who remembers that some of the problems that Albert and Wanda ran into in the story? Make a list of all the problems the children can recall. Problems may include Albert and Wanda didn't know if the shoe would fit. They didn't know what to use to measure the shoe. Albert kept eating the cheese stick. Now discuss how each of these problems were resolved in the story. Ask the children to help you make a list of all the items in the story that were used to measure the shoe. Now it says to place a long strip of wide masking tape or duct tape on the floor in an open area. Now have the children remove their shoes and ask them to become tightrope walkers as one would see in the circus. Those are all fun activities to do. Each child is to take a turn counting how many feet long the strip tape is as he or she places one foot in front of the other. For an even greater comparison of measurement, the adults in the room may also try this. Record everyone's result on a large sheet of paper. Ask the children what they noticed from the results. Were all the numbers the same? Who had the highest number of feet recorded? Who had the lowest number? And why were the measurements different for different people? And then this says to trace each child's right foot onto a sheet of cardboard, cut it out and label it with the child's name. Demonstrate how to measure using a cardboard foot. Encourage the children to measure different items around the room using their feet. Items include tables and bookcases and rugs. And then have the children record their results on a sheet of paper. Encourage them to draw what they have measured with the measurement written alongside. Have them share their results with a partner when they are done. And then this says, design your own dream clubhouse. Begin by reminding the children that the clubhouse looks different. Ask the children to think about these questions. What do you want your clubhouse to look like? How big or small do you want it to be? What would you build it with? Where would you build it? Provide children with construction paper, crayons, markers, and rulers. Encourage them to use their imagination and ask the children completing designs. Have them write the clubhouse on a large index card. Remind them to include as many details as they can. And let's start our quiz. If the shoe fits. What did Albert and Wanda find in the people's yard? They did not find a ladybug. They found a people shoe. Albert wanted to bring the shoe home to his playroom. What did he think that he could do with it? It could make it into a clubhouse. What did Albert first use to measure the people's shoe? He used his feet. Why did Albert measure 12 of his feet and Wanda 10 of his feet? 10 of her feet because Wanda's feet were bigger, so it didn't take as many feet. What happened to the cheese stick? Albert took a, Albert took a bite. What did they finally use to measure the playroom with? Paper clips. Albert and Wanda saw Gruncho at the bottom of the log pile. Who is Gruncho? He is a cat. Two more questions. What happened with Gruncho and the people's shoe? It hit him on the nose and he ran away. What did Albert and Wanda paint on the outside of the people's shoe? No cats allowed. The end. Nice work. You're a superstar. And then here are some other mouse math books. Lost in the Museum, Albert's Amazing Snail, Albert Doubles the Fun, 
Where's Albert? I think we read that one. Bravo, Albert. Albert helps out. So all of those are fun to check out at getepic.com. And then here's your assignment. You're going to trace the feet of each family member on a sheet of paper and compare the sizes using words like longer or shorter or bigger or smaller. You can even use paper clips to measure how many paper clips your feet are and how many paper clips mommy's feet are and which one has more paper clips. You can continue practicing your measurement at starfall.com. Here, H geometry, measure this. And if you're looking on how to find this, Ms. Trisha found it. Underneath grades one through two, grade one, two, and three. And then I went to geometry and measurement. And then I went to measurements. And then you can measure the mice today or your shoes. And this is measuring mice using the nickels. You can also measure your shoes. And this is measuring the mice with dot and the shoes with dimes. So that's some fun practice activity. Don't forget to take a picture of your work and send it to your teacher either on Class Dojo or submit to Google Classroom. We're almost to the finish line, guys. Thank you very much. And if you guys are doing a great job, we're very proud of everybody's hard work. We know that this has not been an easy situation. We have tried to make a way to make sure that you guys are getting the videos on Class Dojo and you know, you guys can send us the videos on Class Dojo, and uh, we hope that you guys have learned a lot, not just the students, but the parents too, because I know that I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot about insects and bugs and ladybugs and butterflies, and things that I didn't know before we started this whole process. So check back tomorrow for more read aloud and math time, and I will see you guys then. Have a good one. Bye-bye.